At Home Instead, we look after the older adults in their own homes. Generally, most of our clients are over 65, and they have a range of different conditions, such as Alzheimer's, dementia, right up to chronic and terminal conditions where they might be under life. We're going to see Sylvia. She's a lovely lady, and she's been with Home Instead for just over 10 years. What motivated me to become a caregiver was being at home, as a, a, a single parent, um, I found there was a, a gap when my youngest child went to school. So I wanted to, to fill that, that hole. So I decided that caring was something that I wanted to look into. Good morning, Sylvia. How are you? Fine, thank you. Are you good? We deliver training from the very start of a caregiver's journey with us so they attend the training um, which is run over five days and that covers everything they need to know really about the job, about their role and responsibilities and um, following on from that we offer lots of other training opportunities so um, for example um, we have some accredited courses with City and Guild so then the caregiver may want to go um, on and learn more about dementia so we have, have that accredited course or end of life care. So you came on Tuesday morning, didn't you? I came on Tuesday yeah, and morning. I, did I tell you? I told you didn't we were going to. The That's right, yeah. you did. Yeah. Did you eat your sweets? I didn't like them. Oh, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> um, I didn't know a lot about dementia before I started as a caregiver, and I knew next to nothing about providing end of life care or palliative care. The training has definitely had an effect on my confidence. Um, I'm, I'm definitely more confident in my role as caregiver now. Here is my stepdaughter who uh, introduced Home Instead into our lives, that is my wife and myself. Um, my wife being a sufferer from vascular dementia. Um, Home Instead initially came for three hours a week, um, developing into something like 21 hours a week. Um, the ladies that come are gentle, um, caring. When they called, uh, um, it, it brought a little buzz of light into an otherwise long day. So it brought life into the house. You have to be very compassionate, very understanding. Yeah, and, and a need to, a want to help people, to look after people. Um, and to help them get the best quality of life that they can possibly have. Being awarded the Princess Royal Training Award really reflects the quality uh, of the training and for us that work within the uh, learning and development world that's really, really important to us to recognise that yes, we do provide very good training one thing that the Princess Training Award has helped support us is our mission of changing the face of ageing and both the end of life and dementia training gives that confidence to the caregivers and it's like a ripple effect with families and friends really making a difference and that for us helps support our, uh, our mission of what we're trying to do is help people stay at home as long as they can and as happy they can be and, and I think both the training programmes really help support us do that. We receive continuous feedback about how well cared for our clients are. Um, families are often so grateful and they're often unaware that there's a service out there which can care for people in such a way so they can get back to being a family member and we can look after the care side of things. You know, you go home at the end of the day and you know that you've done something that has made somebody else feel, feel really good. Or you, you've helped in a certain way and you're not just there for the client, you're there for the families as well and the friends. So, yeah, it's, it's very rewarding. I think it's, um, it's a great job. I love that. <laughs>